Beauty and the Beast Tale Once upon a time, there was a wealthy merchant. He had three daughters, and two of them were exceedingly selfish. However, the third, whose name was Beauty, was both kind-hearted and loving. One day, the merchant received news that his ships had sunk in a violent storm. The poor man lost all his wealth, and all that remained was a small house in the town. The selfish sisters did not like this situation at all. They became idle and did nothing but lie in bed and sigh. All the household chores fell upon beauty. Some time later, the merchant heard that one of his lost ships had reached the port. Before setting out to confirm the news, he asked his daughters, What shall I bring for you upon my return? The greedy sisters instantly became joyful. We want dresses and jewels, they demanded. What about you, Beauty? the merchant asked. I just want a rose. That will be enough for me, replied Beauty. A few days later, feeling sorrowful, the merchant set out to return home. He was still poor because the money from his last ship was also lost to swindlers. As night fell, he entered a forest. The forest was both dark and cold. Lightning was striking, and the wind was swirling snowflakes from the ground. In the distance, he could hear wolves howling. Unknowingly, the merchant rode his horse for hours, treading through the snow. Suddenly, in the distance, he saw a remarkably beautiful castle, with bright lights shining from its windows. However, this was a strange castle, because although its fireplaces were blazing and all rooms were as bright as day, there was no one to be seen. The merchant called out, but there was no reply. Eventually, realising that waiting was pointless, he tethered his horse in the stable and partook of the meal that was readily prepared on the long table. Then he went to bed and fell asleep. When he woke up in the morning, he found new clothes laid out for him beside his bed. Downstairs, a beautiful breakfast was waiting for him. This castle must belong to a kind-hearted fairy who took pity on me, the merchant assumed. As the merchant was leaving the castle, he noticed the roses in the garden. At least I should fulfil my promise to beauty, he thought. He picked a rose, and the moment he plucked it, the bushes let out a tremendous roar. From behind the bushes emerged a terrifyingly monstrous creature. It was so dreadful that the merchant nearly fainted out of fear. You ungrateful man, roared the beast. I saved your life, I fed you and clothed you. Now you dare to steal my beautiful roses. You deserve to die instantly. The merchant fell to his knees before the beast. I was taking it for one of my daughters, he explained. I am not a master or anything like that. I am a beast, growled the creature. Then he confronted the merchant. When you return home, ask one of your daughters to come and live with me. If none of them agree, you have three months to live. The merchant feeling the morning light in the forest, returned home sadly. The two selfish sisters were not moved by their father's dreadful adventures. They were more furious that he did not bring them dresses and jewels. But Beauty did not react like her sisters. Father, allow me to go, she said without hesitation. Of course you will go. It's your fault, replied her sisters. If you hadn't insisted on the rose, the beast wouldn't be planning to kill our father. Beauty promised to stay for another week. Before long, Beauty realised she missed the beast as much as she missed her father. One day, in her dream, she saw the beast lying motionless in the castle garden. When she woke up, she thought, I have been utterly cruel. Immediately, she took off her ring and placed it on the table near her bed. The next morning, she woke up in the beast's castle. That evening, Beauty waited for the beast. Nine o'clock arrived, but the beast did not show up. A quarter past nine, and there was still no sign. Suddenly, in worry, Beauty rushed out to the garden. The beast was lying there. I have caused his death, thought Beauty, who ran up to him and embraced him. The beast's heart was still beating. I thought you wouldn't return, whispered the beast faintly. But I love you, beast, exclaimed Beauty. I want to marry you. At that moment, something peculiar happened. Suddenly, the castle seemed more beautiful and radiant.
For a moment, Beauty looked around and then turned back to the beast. However, the beast was no longer there. In his place stood a young and handsome prince. I am the beast, he said. An evil fairy put a spell on me. She transformed me into an unwatchable creature. Had you not said you would marry me, I would have remained so forever. The prince took Beauty to the castle. There, Beauty met her father and the good fairy she had seen in her dream. You have received the reward for your courage, said the good fairy to Beauty. The fairy waved her magic wand, and everyone in the castle found themselves in the prince's kingdom. The people there welcomed the prince with jubilation and applause. Shortly after, Beauty and the Beast were married. They became the happiest prince and princess the world had ever known.